Kokonotsu Shikata aspires to be a manga artist, but his father, Y, forces him to take over the family Dagashi shop. Hotaro Shidare, a beautiful and eccentric girl, comes to their house at that time and asks Y to work for her family's candy company. Y refuses because he wouldn't be able to leave the shop if Kokonatsu didn't want to inherit it. As a result, Hotaro chose to stay until Kokonatsu agreed to take over the shop. Later at their cafe, Kokonatsu meets the end twins, T and Saya, and tells them about Hotaru without mentioning her name. Saya later meets Hotaru in person, unaware that she's the same person mentioned by Kokonatsu earlier. Hotaru arrives at the Shikata shop, San Y, and continues her bizarre and sexually oblivious sweets-related behavior, eventually passing out after consuming a non-alcoholic candy beer mix. Later, Kokonatsu and Saya meet up, and Hotaru joins them while playing with candy that can also be used as a whistle. She then tells a story about the snack, which Saya dismisses as nonsense, but Kokonatsu realizes as allegorical and implies that Hotaru's antics may not be entirely genuine. Saya diffuses the situation by imagining all the free sweets she'd get if Kokonatsu took over the shop. Saya stuns both Kokonatsu and Hotaru with instances of beginner's luck as the three play Menko into the evening. On a particularly hot day, Hotaru and T arrive at the shop and decide to make Budaman by boiling water inside of the shop. T admits to Kokonatsu that he's only here to fraternize about Hotaru while she sensually eats the snack, despite Hotaru's insistence that eating it in the swelting heat is the best way to enjoy it. The three decide to go to the pool while T contacts Seiya about the meetup after the air conditioning breaks, and Kokonatsu warns Hotaru that some dagashi may spoil due to the heat. At the pool, Kokonatsu and T meet Y, who moonlights as a lifeguard, and the girls. It is then revealed that Y and Hotaru are conspiring to bring Kodonasu closer to sweets once more. However, the plan backfires when the Dagashi they planted in the pool are unable to be eaten due to a no-food-or-drink sign they forgot to remove. Hotaru arrives at the shop the next day to find T but no Kokonatsu, who is busy moving Dagashi that may have gone bad the day before. Hotaru tries to start a conversation about Dagashi with T but misinterprets his aversion to the topic as a challenge. As Kokonatsu stumbles upon the scene with no context and an air conditioning repair crew, Hotaru quickly balls candy into T's mouth. Hotaru is forced to stay with Seiya at the cafe shop by Kokonatsu, and the two get along swimmingly. When Kokonatsu enters the shop, he discovers Hotaru blindfolded. She challenges him to a blind taste test using various flavors of Fugashi, with the caveat that the taster's hands must be tied behind their back in order to avoid cheating by identifying the snack solely on the basis of texture. When the Fugashi flavors they're testing run out, Kokonatsu tries to trick Hotaru with a rare Fugashi flavor. She still gets it right much to his chagrin. When it's Kokonatsu's turn, Hotaru complains of a dry mouth and runs off to get a drink, leaving him blindfolded and bound. Unfortunately, Y arrives at the shop before Hotaru and misinterprets the situation. Following that, T and Kokonatsu meet at the cafe end. T notices the girls' doodles by Kokonatsu and draws attention to the size difference in their breasts. When Kokonatsu returns to the sweets shop, he runs into Hotaru and realizes he forgot his notebook with the drawings. Sensing Kokonatsu's predicament, Hotaru tosses him a box of Gilko caramel and the two use the candy's kilocalories to sprint back to the cafe as quickly as they can. When the two are 300 meters apart, Hotaru runs out of candy and energy. She offers him her last piece as she collapses from exhaustion. As Kokonatsu enters the cafe, she's greeted by Seiya, who is already looking at the doodles. Late at night, Kokonatsu interrupts his father and Hotaru as they enjoy Bin Ramune. While Hotaru explains the Dagashi's peculiarities, Kokonatsu remarks on the snack's apparent addictiveness, particularly after witnessing Y greedily drink it despite the fact that it's supposed